Welcome back to the new Canadian production of Six. We tell the tales of Henry VIII's ex-wives, from Tudor queens to pop icons and musical remixes, 500 years of historical heartbreak into a stage show filled with girl power. Woo! Take a look. Henry's exes, Jazz Robinson, Julia Pulo, Maggie Lacasse, Crystal Hernandez, Alicia Cruz, and Lauren Maria Suse, the cast of Six! Yay! Um, okay, we have questions for all of you, and we, we don't have a lot of time. We want to make sure we get to every single one of you. First of all, huge congratulations. Mm -hmm. Amazing show. We cannot say enough good things about the show. Okay, um, so I saw it with my daughter, who's nine. She was up. The whole yeah. time? <laughs> She's like, where's that Henry? Let me take care of him. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with you, Jazz, because you play, um, of course, uh, Catherine of Aragon, mm -hmm. who is uh, Henry's very, very first wife. Mm -hmm. So um, it is not a boring Tudor history lesson. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's the complete opposite. As you said, Andrea, it's pop, it is girl power. Um, so what can you tell us about this modern retelling and where do we pick up with the famous exes? Yeah, so Six of Musicals about the six wives of Henry VIII, the six queens, as we like to refer to them yeah. as, and their lives. So we dive right into competition mode, performing pop rock solos, pleading our case as to who had the hardest life with Henry VIII. <laughs> and through that, we explore rewriting her story and embracing each other, our differences, similarities, and supporting each other. Yeah. Yeah, we love that. All right, and if people didn't know, Six the Musical won the Tony for Best Original Score yeah. last year in 2022. <laughs> And the queens really show up. So, Crystal, you play Anna of Cleves, and I understand to um, channel your queenness, your queen inspiration, mm -hmm. you use Rihanna and Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Talk to me about right? Talk to me about why you chose these two women to inspire you. So they're so fabulous. Like. Their whole aura and the way that they perform is so cool, mm -hmm. unbothered. Mm. And specifically Rihanna, the way she performs, it's so laid back, but yeah. in such a magnetic way. And mm -hmm. I think that's so powerful, especially with Cleves and her song. And I watched so many, like, music videos, live performances of them to really find the physicalization for Cleves. Mm -hmm. And I'll add on to that Cardi B too, because yes. mm -hmm. both Cardi B and Nicki Minaj kind of have that fiery, I don't care what you have to <laughs> <laughs> say. Like, I don't care what you have to say about what I'm saying because yeah. I'm so confident in myself. Mm -hmm. And I think that that really channels Cleves' energy. Absolutely. Oh, you sure do. You sure do. Okay, so Julia, you perhaps may be the most infamous of all the wives playing Anne Boleyn. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought I was out of my seat just crying with how funny <laughs> yes, yes. you interpret your queen. Thank so you. how much leeway did you have for that interpretation um, to play her that way? Well, we're all assigned um, kind of genres and um, within our characters, we're all kind of given a genre, but within that genre, we all get to kind of play and interpret our queen based on how we find the comedy in the lines and how we sing the songs. Um, and I always say my queen inspiration is like Doja Cat and Demi Lovato because like Anne Boleyn, they can be villainized in press, but despite all that, they're so uniquely themselves. They mm -hmm. never see themselves as the villain. And I think Anne Boleyn's so much like that. And I think that's where I draw my humor from and kind of my style of how I play her. Well, yeah. it yeah. works. Listen. It works. <laughs> We're never gonna meet the real Anne Boleyn, but girl, you killed it. You were hilarious. All right, so I don't wanna give too much away because I want everybody who hasn't seen the show to go and see the show, but Alicia, you play Catherine Howard, right? And you kind of realize all of the trauma that these women have gone through for this man, this Henry dude, yes. right? So talk to me about this sisterhood on stage. What's that like? What does that feel like? Of course, I mean, I think one of the main reasons why the show is so successful is because people come watch the show and leave feeling incredibly inspired and empowered mm -hmm. by watching a group of diverse women enjoying themselves on the stage and coming together and supporting each other. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I mean, we're 
we're a sisterhood. We love each other very much. The team is a sisterhood and we're all just here to support each other and tell the story and have so much fun. And that kind of special connection translates really well on the stage. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes the show fun for us to do. And also it's very contagious. Yeah. Like it's it's not hard to, to enjoy the show. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> and I'll tell you, one of I, I think one of the best things about the show is that just for everybody to know, it's 80 minutes non-stop. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're all on stage the whole time. Not a sip of water, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> not a pat, not an anything. So Lauren, you play Catherine Parr. She is the last of Henry's wives. She famously outlived him. So what does it take to train for this kind of endurance that you need for the show? We always talk about how this show is literally hit the musical. It's 80 minutes straight, you're shot out of a cannon and you go. So everyone's body is so different, but I always talk about how my body and my voice, it's an instrument. So I have to take care of it that way. And it's our job. So we nebulize, me and Maggie nebulize before the show. <laughs> yeah, we all do. And some people warm up a different way. Some people have different injuries they work through. So it's just really about prioritizing the body and mm -hmm. giving it longevity because you know, how long are we gonna be able to sing and dance like this? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll enjoy yeah. it, hopefully a long time. <laughs> hopefully a long time. for a very long time. <laughs> All right, so Maggie, you play Jane Seymour and you have one of the only ballads in the show. And when I tell you this girl tears the house down, Ooh. she tears the house down. Ooh. But why do you think people are still so obsessed with these women and this man? Like, why them? There's so many people in history. Why do you right. think people are so obsessed with them? Well, historically, the women were very different. But I think what we bring in the show is very that. Um, we're so different. We all have our different personalities, different songs, different genres. Mm -hmm. And so people can truly relate to at least one or several of them. When they come, they can get their fix with music, with fun costumes. It's just really such a fun show and so empowering and so diverse. And it's a privilege to be with y'all. Oh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when you watch the show, you pick up any textbook, you know that the wives had a bad uh, mm. with Henry. But in real life, we're wondering which wives would have been BFFs with the other wives. Mm. So why don't we play a little game? Mm -hmm. Shall we do that? Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to go in order. We're going to start with you, Jazz. So who would Catherine of Aragon be BFFs with? Mm. I would say there's there's two, but um, so Jane Seymour or Parr for different reasons. Jane Seymour, because she's very grounded, we're both very big on duty and respect, and we both really loved Henry. And Parr, because she's also a trailblazer. Mm -hmm. She wrote books, psalms. Um, she fought for female education, so she fought for what she believed in, and mm -hmm. so did so did I. Yeah. Catherine yeah. of Aragon. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do the rest rapid fire. You ready? Yes. Ready? Let's do it. Anne Boleyn, BFF? BFF. Cleaves, but also we're cousins, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that. I love that. Jane Seymour? She wants to be friends with all of them. She just wants everybody's That's approval. Aww. <laughs> okay, Anne of Cleaves? Par. Par. Catherine uh -huh. Howard? Ca uh, Cleaves. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. Final answer. Okay. And Catherine Par? Aragon. That's her godmother. Heck yeah. Aww. Listen, listen, when an audience loves something in the church, we like to take our shoes off. We're kicking our shoes ah! off because you guys are so good. Oh, hell, the team. You guys killed that show. Thank you guys so much for coming. You guys are fabulous. Continue. A Six of Musical has been extended until February 11th. So go get your tickets. Run, don't walk. Rivers.com. This is such a fun show. You're not going to want to miss this one. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.